exciting part of 3D modeling is that you can take a idea that you have and put it on a computer screen in a solid model and take that image and print it to a 3D printer. And that can be done in all the different types of industries, such as the medical fields, uh, industrial, civil, electrical, and you can actually have the part in your hand when you're done. I work a lot with employers that recruit our students and they've given me a lot of feedback saying that uh, this is where technology is going and that um, having it in our curriculum uh, prepares our students for what's actually going on out there today. So the way we apply it in our curriculum is we start off with the blueprint reading uh, to begin with and then we get into the two-dimensional CAD and then we get into the three-dimensional CAD and then once we cover those concepts then we bring it into the uh, three-dimensional printing and we can actually see the object and the objects uh, were once designed as a 2D and a 3D model on the screen and now we can actually print it out to be that 3D object. The future is, is big in terms of time saved, uh, processes saved uh, prior to putting parts in production so you can do a lot of your development up front and then uh, save that time in terms of hard tools and development of your processes, uh, manufacturing processes. Uh, by having this done weeks you know, in, in advance, the process to make a 3D uh, printed model is can be days, it could be hours uh, to do to make a part or to make a uh, a final product. Uh, in my industry, we're talking 52 weeks uh, to do that. Um, you know, when I decided to go into Inventor this semester. I found out we got to use the 3D printers and that really excited me because I got to see that at work and now I actually get to have that and do that myself and really get to understand the concepts and why we do what we do as far as with 3D printing and prototyping and how it benefits in the long run. It is very interesting how you can take a flat two-dimensional object that's 3D in the computer but it's just be flat on a piece of paper and actually make it into something that you can hold and look at and be like, wow, I made this. That's pretty cool.